Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Yokai Watch 3 on Nintendo 3DS. We're continuing our 100% walk through the game, so thanks for watching, and thanks for joining us today, man. This is a, it's a good time. It's a good time to be playing this game. I cannot wait to continue our Let's Play. So let's do it. So, I believe we're all caught up with chapters right now. I want to say that we beat up chapter 3 on Halian, or we kind of like finished up to a, like a stopping point for Halian. And now we're over here with uh, our good friend, Nate. So, uh, it's a brand new day. We got some new cranks. So I figured we might as well jump on board with some Crank Akai. I'm going to do four cranks with Nate, and then four cranks with Halian, with the utmost rare yokai that we can possibly get, right? All right, let's take a look. There's a lot of things that are going to happen over here. Check this out. We got a demonic coin. We get Ogre Lus. Emblem coin looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got a legend coin that is pretty good. Oh, we get the Phoenix coin. I want the Phoenix coin. <laughs> oh, 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 listen closely. On the master, uh, do things with auras. Unable to create an aura out of nothing. To create an aura requires ghastly fragments. Look for them in the ground or in treasure chests. Come and see when you collected some ghastly fragments. All right, so I haven't found anything like that, but. Like, I don't want to waste my only, like, legend coin or my whatever coin on uh, those those yokai, right? This feast coin? There's, like, only one. There's only one! And I'm, I don't want to do it unless I have added chances. So, uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some stuff here. Let's do this. Uh, let's try for, uh, a jet black coin for having wobble walk. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's try one jet black coin. Uh, spin the wheel. Yeah, let's, let's go. I don't want a free gift. Dream spin? I don't know what this is. No. No. No, come on. I don't know I don't know how that happened. <laughs> no. Uh, what the heck? Rinse and repeat? What's this? Tub Lapa's friend? Rinse and repeat. Round and round and out I came. Your turn next. Okay. What the heck is that ugly thing? That looks like a... I don't even know. Uh, Reaper, Rin Rin, Petey, Pedro. Alright. What the heck is that, dude? Am I able to throw in another coin and possibly get a jackpot? Does that, is that how that works? You seem to think that it's so easy. Oh, come on. No! Where's my dream thing? Uh, okay, okay, maybe. Stop! This is so bad. This is like a high stakes, man. You're not, we're not gonna get these coins again. Perfect past. Okay, that's like a, an attitude adjustment book. All right, I'm I'm not I'm not too happy about these rare coins, joyful coins. I'm about to just spend some. Uh, Give me like a green, an ultra green dude. Whatever, just give me a healer. I'm at a point where I want to save those coins until we get like a better, a better chance. At some like yokai. Yeah, finally, okay, okay, I'm down. Give me that big jackpot, I'll take a, a healer. Better not give me that ethereal water. Dang it! <laughs> Boo! I don't need no stinking ethereal water. Oh, one more coin, who's it gonna be? Man, super light blue coin. I'll do ultra light blue coin. Let's go. I get so animated and upset. Okay, so four chance at a jackpot. That's good. Stop. Oh, it's so stupid. I hate cranky guy. Why do I even? Why do I even like? Why do I do this? Who are you? Oh, he he heel. Get out of here, you dumb snake. Eel. He he he. You know what's funny, right? You know what's funny? Giggly, Louie, Jester, Wiggly. Get out of here. You know what's actually funny? The fact that he 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 comes out here and he's taunting me. That's real funny. Good job, he 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 You punk. Okay. You seem to think that it's so easy. But it's not. It's not easy. So I'm going to go with Haley Ann. I'm going to crank with Haley Ann and she's going to get some yokai. Hopefully. But then at the same time, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, if I crank out a good S rank yokai, should I use the S rank yokai throughout the entire game? I feel that I shouldn't, you know? Like, I feel that I should not do that. Simply because if this is going to be a walkthrough for you guys, you can't replicate my results. 
You guys won't be able to replicate my cranks. So if I have an easier time with that yokai, then it's just like, all right, well, Abdallah did it easier because he had all these sweet elite S rank yokai that he made QR code tutorial videos and he scanned them all in and had really, really good luck. But me, my luck is garbage and I can't replicate that. So now I can't really play along with him. So I think I'm gonna make the executive decision uh, that is, if I come across a really, really cool yokai, I'm gonna save him for end game. Okay, I'm gonna save him for post game. You guys are here, you guys came here for the walkthrough, right? You guys wanna play along with. So, that being said, I will only use yokai that I have like easy accessibility to. Even if they're auto befriends, I'll use them too. How about that? Does that make things a lot easier? All right, so in case you guys don't know where we got all these Cranky Guy coins, there's a link in the description for our tips and tricks playlist. Go watch that. I've got four videos with all Q100, uh, Q, Q100. That's like the new denomination of how many QR codes I have. We got special coins, that's pretty cool. I can get a Kabuking off of that. Uh, we got a Whirlwind coin, we got an old or rusted coin. Uh, sushi coin and Tempura coin, those are pretty interesting. Uh, we got a one star coin, we got a light blue coin. I got a lot of things. Ooh, passes. Yeah, 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 I wanna get I wanna get some passes. Okay, so this is a light dream coin. There's nothing wrong with, with getting these. Uh, I think getting the passes would be really cool. I would say so. Passes. That thing is full of black capsules. Like, what's the deal? How does that work? Yo, Yolk guy! Unsheltered. No, that's Yolk guy. <laughs> I, I, that's his name, guys. Everyone. If you ever get an unsheltered, you name him Yolk guy. That's it. Unsheltered. In this, is this shell cracked? It is. Mind if I crack another? Unsheltered. That's Yolk guy. Yolk? I said, like, pronounce the L in Yolk. <laughs> Good Yolk. What? Come on. Yolk guy has to be one. Shelbert. Shelly. Come on, guys. Let's go, localization team. You guys apparently don't watch my videos. I'm having regrets now. When we were playing Yokai Watch 3, I was talking about, um... I was talking about... <laughs> like making some localization things. We got some souvenir coins. We got some iron pots. We got oh that, that one treasure coin. I need it so bad. You seem to think that it's so easy, oh, but it's not. So here, I don't even want to use some of these coins. Like because I have a feeling that if I save some of these coins towards the very end, I'm gonna increase my odds of winning them. Like I'm not getting. This is a garbage crank guy. I don't have like a spinny spinny doohickey. El Gutso. Come on, it's time for some no-holds-barred battling. Let's go. El Gutso. All right, El Gutso. That's kind of cute. I've never seen him before. Ridley, Leo, Frankie, G Giuseppe. <laughs> Giuseppe. <laughs> Giuseppe, really. Really, Giuseppe. Out of all the names, you Giuseppe. All right, let's go. Give me another brave one. Whatever. I'll spend all these cranks right now. Oh, man. Yeah, that's five bucks right there. I'll sell that for five bucks. Good job. Good job. And then give me this ultra pink coin. Let me get uh, Bad Boya. Bad Boya! Yeah, you guys remember Bad Boya? Oh, dang, no Bad Boya. Yo, this is... Man, my crank guy like is trash. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! Ultra pink coin. Schmoopy came out. Believe in the Schmoopy. Right here, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Send me fear was adorable. And now, I'll make you adorable, too. Shmoopy. Oh, come on. Now I'm on the fence on whether or not I should use Schmoopy because I cranked it. Teddy, Richie, Awberry, and Cuddles. Oh, what a good day. Wow. You seem to think that it's so easy. Wow. That's, that's cool, dude. The Cranky Kai disappeared. Oh, well. Alright, so that was interesting. Thank you for watching. I don't think I'm going to use Smoopy. I could use a dedicated healer, but again, it's going to be a walkthrough. I want you guys to be able to play along with, so... If you guys crank something cool, then you guys can ad-lib your way past. And yeah, I do see all the things in the ground, so no need to point them out. You think I need this cucumber? You think I need this salty? I don't, but I grabbed it anyway. <laughs> 
All right, you who say nothing that. That's what. That's my favorite part of the song. How many times have you guys watched the intro song? Okay, so here we go. Uh, Nate's time. It's Nate's time to shine. Let's get out of here. Our yokai are doing. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Inventory. I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Check this out. Boing. Okay, so do 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 Okay, so paradise balls, right? You guys have these. This is this is part of the let's play. It's part of the walkthrough. I have a QR code video for rare items in the game. Uh, it has three QR codes for three paradise balls, which is arguably one of the best items that you can give to any of your yokai. I loved it in Yokai Watch. Two, it was a rare drop for Cat Cradle, which was, uh, I got it on my first try. I don't know how it happened. If you guys watched the Let's Play, go check that out. But no, so absolutely, when you get those Paradise Balls, give, throw one to Haley Ann for Usapion, and then throw two to Nate. One for Jibanyan, and then one for whoever else you want to put on it. There's only three right now, unless there are other QR codes for it. But anyway, let's continue on the story, shall we? Shishi, she's here. What's up, Shishi? Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 we meet again, and in the most curious of places. City Hall is no place for kids. What business do you have here? Uh, we just came to see the big bell here? What a coincidence. We just so happen to, the same, to have the same objective. We came to check it out for ourselves, uh, if it was the bell behind the strange ringing. But like most blunderous theories, it was a dead end. The bell's perfectly normal. Ha, huh. Folly, if only your reasoning were as sharp as your words. My theory suggests the bell still holds some secret. Sure, Blunder, and it will still be holding it for you from you next time. See you around, kids. Hey, wait up, Folly. You're letting the bell best you. Hyuk <laughs> hyuk, maybe that's the new she she she. Wow. Now I am excited. We're gonna beat them agents at their own game. Hey, wait, Buck, wait a sec. Yes. As someone who insisted on dragging us along, you'd think he wouldn't ditch us. Let's go. So it goes. Shall we survey the bell then? Okay, well, let's go survey the bell in City Hall here. Uh, I'm going to walk in here, and we're going to see exactly what we can find. See what we can see. Mm, 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 mm. Who got... Hey, 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 smell it. I smell the sweat from yokai battles on your hands. Whoa. Who are you? What's this new NPC with pink hair? What is this? How many weirdos do we have to put up with in one day? Uh, so, do you three feel you have what it takes to advance down the official path? Oh, fear not. For well, for now, all I want is talk. I'll be waiting for you in the library. So, this is the lady with official battles. Okay, I have no clue what she's on about, but I don't think she cares. Yeah, yeah it seems so. Wait, didn't she say you three? Either she's seeing triple or she's somehow able to see yokai. Consider me intrigued to the library. So, rather than the guy with the crazy mustache, we've got this really cool lady with pink hair. Allow me to officially introduce myself. My name is Miss Stickler. Oh, like Mr. Stickler was the guy in Yokai Watch uh, 2, right? Oh, that is your official name? My standards are slipping. You got an official problem? Well, you can officially shut it. Whisper, I think she can hear you. Of course I can hear him. I'm a yokai battle official. And you seem to have experienced your fair share of yokai battles. How about trying some official battles? Yeah, official battles. No doubt for those who thought that battles were weren't official enough. Uh-huh, it's a soul-blazing yokai battle of the highest order. So how about it? Will you go down the official path? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, well then. Let's have ourselves an official battle. Hold it, you don't have an official team. Yes. No, but I have an official headache. Yeah. Huh. An official team is different from those uh, that you use in ordinary battles. Your official team has to be made of yokai who meet the official sure. rules. What are the official rules? Allow me to explain. You're limited to two S rank yokai, you're limited to two or A rank yokai, but then there's no limit uh, at B rank or under, so use them as you wish. There are official rules set by the official association. Got it. Okay, that's pretty cool. And in order to access official battles, you need the official battle app. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty cool... Uh... Howdy. Anyway, open the online battle app in the yokai pad and press the official team button to register your official yeah. team. Sure, I'll give it a shot. 
Okay, so set up your team and show Miss Stickler. All right, so official battles app right over here, battle. I'm gonna edit official teams during online. Your nickname is gonna be shown up. All right, so we're gonna go official members. Uh, we're gonna put this yokai here, I guess, Linguist. We're gonna, oh, oh wow, auto automatically rounds him to level 60. That's pretty cool. Here's Chupanyan. Uh We're gonna do Rinsen. I'm gonna put, uh, sorry, Intune right over here. And then right over here, I'm gonna set whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll do Salty. Your boy Salty? And uh, since we got new yokai, again, I'm pretty sure you guys befriended some other yokai. So as long as we have six yokai on our team, we're all set. Oh no, what? Uh, he he heal. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I got my official team saved. Okay, and so now I got an official team, I think saved. Now let's talk. Sure. Great, it seems you registered your, your official team without any trouble. By the by, your official teams are summoned for official battles even when not in hand. Now that we're done preparations, I'll explain how they work. <laughs> official battles will uh, 6v6 with a twist. The twist is the levels. All yokai will be set to 60. That way everyone's fighting on equal terms. Do you really know what's going on? Another twist, the battle involves sudden death. If they're uh, running too long, it can quickly end. Ooh, that way tournaments end really fast. All right, got it. So shall we get started? Prepare for an official battle, yeah. Okay, we're battling now? Yeah, I like your style, kid. I've been uh, waiting for a real fight. Let's see if you meet the mark. Come on, dude, I got Jibanyan here. I got Jin Binyan. With a Paradise Ball, you can't touch that. Oh, who in the world is this? What are these yokai named? Little Blue Hood? Who, me? That's, uh, hotcakes, right? Petty cake? Who's this? Twirly pie? Cute! They're not even moving! How are they still alive? Chilled cow cow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end. We didn't even have to move and pick up all pick all those items up. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, impressive. So impressive I say you have official talent. Alright, gee, thanks. Official talent? What next? Uh, okay, you can determine your skill in yokai battles. Keep working on your team. Okay, another thing. The online battle app. You can use it to battle other players whenever you want. Go for it. Since you're giving it so much already, here's a reward. Oh, now we can trade. Oh, that's beautiful. So now we unlock trading in, like, uh, chapter 3. Online battle also have an official all friends button for your convenience. By using all friends button... You can instantly battle or trade medals with friends connected to the internet. Speaking of friends, I've got another little gift for you. Contacts! Woo! Yeah. With this, you'll be able to check out those you competed with. Review all the official details in the help menu. Okay, cool, thanks. I hope you officially enjoy yourselves. Uh, thanks, miss. I feel officially enlightened. Well, after that little diversion, let's return to looking for that bell. Yeah, let's go! I like the music. The, mu the music battle is good. Battle music. There's something behind this door and it's not a knock-knock punchline. Well, dub, doll. Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the door is locked. Oh, so this is where y'all were. I've been wondering. 
Buck, where'd you run off to? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all the ones as slow as snails and molasses. Can I help if I lose track? Uh, hmm, something wrong? I think we found the door we needed, uh, but it seems to be locked. Yuck, yuck, leave it to me. I'll just get out my old master key, by which I mean my number one treasure, to secret key. T secret key, to secret key. Presto, let us pass like magic. What? Why do you even have a key like that? This needs a serious answer. Yo, <laughs> don't think too hard about it. So Abdallah, now that that's taken care of, shall we proceed? Okay, well somehow Mac has a key to the city. <laughs> Who would give this loser a key to the city? And so we find ourselves in what appears to be City Hall's loft. The bell should be just ahead, let's hurry y'all. Uh, okay. Check the huge bell. Hello, Mac. Uh, just gotta be something up ahead with that giant bell. Oh, gosh. Let's see here. Anything look weird to you? Not really. Everything seems to be perfectly normal. Uh, don't count your chickens just yet. We probably need to look harder. Uh, well, if you insist. Abdal, this is where you're meant to search the bell with the yokai watch. Okay. Search the bell with the yokai watch. What for? Doesn't seem to be anything unusual. You're kidding. I could have sworn there was something up with that bell. Mark my words. Something ain't right with this thing. By the way, Buck, I've been meaning to ask. Hmm, what is it? How come you're able to see Whisper and Jibanyan? Yeah, I've been wanting to know that. If you don't have a yokai watch, then how are you able to see us? Shucks, I'll tell, boy. You aliens are stuck on this yokai thing. If anyone's stuck on anything, it's you and this nonsense about aliens. Mm -hmm. It all happened the night four y'all came to town. This weird glow and something fell from the sky and crashed yes. near town. Something? Could that have been a meteorite? Oh, yeah. Everyone in town sure reckoned it was a meteorite crashing down. But that was no meteorite, it was a UFO. Ha, uh, a UFO? You've got to be kidding. What? It's no joke, I done saw a UFO. I saw it with my, with my very own eyes. But after it done crashed and managed to float up into the sky again. Can a meteorite really do that? Sure enough, that was a UFO. Hmm. Well, it sure sounds like it. Don't it? And I have evidence to prove it. I went and found this at the crash site, see? Wow, wow that's a beautiful stone. <laughs> heel, heel, heel. That's my UFO stone. Thanks to some mysterious old powers it has, I can see you aliens clear as day. Say, y'all don't still think I'm a fibbin? No, it's not that. It's just, it's a little hard to believe, you know? Then I got to take y'all to Mr. Keen's site so we can give y'all the lowdown. Uh... Mr. Keen's site? <laughs> Mr. Keen's site is the one who set the UFO stone, who set the UFO stone in this here pendant for me. He runs the watch store over in East Pine. He'll prove to y'all that I ain't a liar. Just wait and see. Mr. Goodsight, Mr. Keensight. Okay, is this his, like, doppelganger from the other side of the world? Could be. Okay, so that's pretty cool. What do you guys think of my uh, Buck accent? Is that pretty good? I don't know, it's just coming to me. It's like, I've got Lionguist inspiriting me right now, and I'm able to bust out a pretty good Mac impression. And whenever I say Mac, I mean Buck, because his old name in the JP version was Mac. So, Mac's an alien. Mac's a yokai. That's why. That's why he's able to see yokai. I don't know. I guess I didn't put two and two together when we were playing that. He's got a magical necklace that is able to do it. Where's my bike? Ah, uh, I gotta run like a peasant. Come on, man. East Pine, there's a the cafeteria. Can't take a beeline through there. Hello? East Pine has the barbecue restaurant and the supermarket, right? St. Peanutsburg, East Pine. Wow. So this is East Pine. Oh, it does have quite the rustic, good old-fashioned charm to it. 
The watch shop is right over there. Come on. Oh gosh, that could have been a snartle light. Oh, hey. Oh, Yoka salute. So, okay, here we go. Howdy. This here's a watch repair shop. Whoa, talk about a fancy place. Wipe your shoes and fix your hair. This is an upmarket establishment. Gee, Buck, you must be really something to come across a store this swanky. Tain none to it. What's Bob? Oh, my, my, what do we have here? Ha <laughs> well, ain't this a surprise. Young Master Buck finally found a friend to bring over to come see me. Hey, I thought I told you never to call me Young Master no more, so drop it. Ah, oh, bless your heart. No, the look on your face is too priceless to resist. Dad, gum it. <laughs> Don't you go a-teasing me! Oh, right. Say, Mr. Keenside, I told these guys about the UFO. Huh, well, I'll be, if I'm not mistaken. Your friend has on him the latest model, the Yokai Watch Model U. Huh, you know about the Yokai Watch? Haha, <laughs> well, I am a watch shop owner, ain't I? Of course I should know. That's your excuse? Huh? What's the conniption fit over Abdallah's watch? Sure enough, it's shiny and all, but it's got it's got nothing on my UFO stone. But it would seem your watch rank is still quite low. Watch rank? What's that? If you wouldn't mind, I could raise your watch rank for you. Oh, whoa, you can do that? That'd be like a huge help. There ain't nothing to it. Well, Abdullah, isn't that handy? Of course, I hope you won't mind me doing, doing me a favor in return. I'm up to my neck in work, so would you mind doing some shopping for me? Sure, leave it to me. Thanks. There's a supermarket called Phantom Mart right nearby. I'd like you and Young Master Buck to pick up some groceries for me. Do what? Why, uh, why I've got to go too. Huh, did I say something about something I shouldn't have? All right. Seems I got no choice. Okay, so we're gonna go shopping at the supermarket. This was honestly one of my favorite parts about Yokai Watch 3. Just the fact um, that you can go into market and shop. Hey Buck, where's the Phantom Art place? Right near the watch shop, just gotta go one block east. Before we go in, how about we've ourselves a p piddly old detour? <laughs> I reckon you never seen the Phantom Art's mascot before. Mascot, well I guess. He lives down in the parking lot. All we need to do is keep heading east, and we're sure to run into him. Okay, so keep on running east, and he's gonna be in the parking lot. I don't even remember what the mascot is. This is gonna be, like, all new to me. What is it, like a chicken? Oh, it's the beaver, okay. <laughs> the beave. Buck, is this the mascot you mentioned? Sure is. Uh, or a rabbit, okay. Yes siree, Phantom Art's very own BBQ bunny. He's something of a celebrity here. Uh, well, he's no major movie studio mascot, but he's tall, I guess. Seems like an acquired taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll acquire the taste uh, for him um, soon enough. What? For him, I'm um, soon. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> As the landlord, right on, man. Acquiring taste is something we could all learn. Look at this hippie. What the heck? Whoa. Well, who's this guy? Whoa. Well, sorry, man. Didn't mean to start it, y'all. Like I was the fuzz. I was just getting such groovy vibes from the BBQ Bunny, ya dig? <laughs> See, this old guy gets it. I am lucky I ran into you cool cats. Being an apartment landlord's my gig. My pad, the Wayfarer Manor, is just north of here. Y'all free to crash there anytime. Happy trails. Uh-huh, see you around. Wayfarer Manor, that certainly sounds familiar. Ah, I, now y'all seen the BBQ Bunny, we can get to a shopping. Okay, go shop at the supermarket. Let's go. Okay, wow. Oh, hey, look at this. Look at, ooh, look at this. We found some stuff. Oh, yeah, one-star coin fragment. Perfect. We need that. I can sell that for, what, 10 cents? The odds of me finding, like, the required amount of star fragments is, like, next to none. Good luck. Look at all this stuff we're finding. Oh, yo, get guarding! Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, get guarding? What is that? Get guarding. Uh, I think that's a... Oh, Tomyon! Hey, bud! Howdy. Dude, fancy meowing you here? Well, a promise is a promise, meow. I'm gonna bet you're dining delante. De-de-de-letty... Oh, I don't even know what that means. Uh, you're BBQ blowout, bro. 
All right, last time you showed us club sandwiches. What are you gonna show us today? This time I'm gonna show you dude some Meowlicious BBQ candy. And when it comes to candy, you can't beat the Mega Tasty Bar. Mega Tasty Bar? Dude, I never met a kid who didn't know about the Mega Tasty Bar before. It's a bar of solid chocolate. Perfectly crunchy and utterly Meowlicious Meow. What's more, y'all can get me one from the supermarket here. Do you get the feeling we're being used here? Dudes, come on, y'all ain't gonna find a better bar in all BBQ. You certainly make it sound tasty. Yeah. Well, when you've brought, when you've bought me one, just show it to me. All right, let's go find a, a big bar. I gotta get together with Buck. All right, here, fine. Oh my, uh, Buck, you're getting interrogated. Do what? Hey, Abdallah, can you help me out here? These galoots won't leave me alone. Hey. hey there, kid. I am pleased to see you. The thing is, we want to take a look at that pendant your friend had had on him. Just look at the stone in there. That's all. <laughs> I done told y'all. N-O-P-E. Nope, never. Nuh-uh. No siree. You're a grown-up. Get your own. <laughs> no, don't be like that. All I want to do is take a tiny peek. You just tried, and I'll call the police faster than prairie fire with a tailwind. Blunder. Blunder, are you honestly picking a fight with a grade schooler? This is a new low, even for you. Huh? No, wait. It's not that. I just thought I'd seen something like that stone earlier in the Y-Files. Wait, I just remembered. It was concerning the UFO case. Uh, oh, Blunder, just drop it already. There's no way a kid would have something that important. Oh, oh Folly, as unimaginative as ever. Uh, Sorry, kids, leave this loudmouth creep oh. to me. Hey, I'm not very loud, and you haven't heard my theory Let's yet. Go. Blunder, we're leaving. We got other places left to search. Folly, at least wait for me. I love these two. I love them a lot. Whew, that was a close one, wasn't it? I was scared that big old galoot was gonna take my UFO stone from me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we still got some shopping to do. Okay, so that was good. Let's go to the supermarket. I need to get this big bar. Soon. There's lots of things we need to buy, so I'll throw you a rope. Okay. We need corn on the cob, mussels, and some caramel peanuts. Got it. And don't forget the cash Mr. Keenside gave us for the groceries. 15 bucks. After you got everything, just head down to the register. I'll be here supervising if y'all should happen to forget something. Oh, what was it? Candy corn, mussels, and caramel something? All right. Y'all can find them right here near the store entrance. To buy something, just check the shelves. And touchscreen shows what's for sale. Cart full of everything you need. Head over to checkout and settle up. It's kind of tricky, but dashing with the cart is mighty fun too. Yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck. All right, give me that shopping cart. Remind me again what we need. So, yes, okay, uh, corn on the cob, mussels, caramel, peanuts. All right. Uh, I need a shopping cart. Got one. Wee! Oh, what do we got? Caramel peanuts? Antoine Mart? Those are oranges. Boo -doo -doo, boo -boo -doo -doo. Anything that red maybe has something for sale? Avocado, no thanks. These are carrots. No thanks. Cucumber, nope. I already forgot what we're getting. One corn on the cob. Yep, here we go. Yes. Okay, so added one corn on the cob. Oh, dude, this is like, yeah! <laughs> it's like real life. Ramen cup? Nope. That's over here. The support life? Nope. That's 10 bucks, man. I ain't rich. I'm on a kid's budget. Donut? Nope. Sorry, man. I want one. Cupcake? Nope. Plain hot dog? Oh, I would love one at the food court over here. Dr. Rapper? Dr. Rapper! <laughs> Dr. Rapper is a play on Dr. Pepper. We need muscles. And then King Salmon. Wow. And this is probably like the meat shop. Yeah, marbled beef. How much? You don't have enough money to buy this. Don't even look at it. Chicken thigh. Woo-wee. All right, that's pretty cool. Dr. Rapper, man. This is stamina. Nope. Whee! Yes! Jumbo rump. Wait, rainbow J beans? Rainbow jelly beans? No, thanks. And here's the peanuts, right? Caramel peanuts, yep. What did Tom Yon want? Mega Tasty Bar. Right? That's what he wanted? A Mega Tasty Bar? I think so. Getaway plush? Nope. 
What's this? Y Cola Max? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool that you can get that so quickly. Okay, you have four items. Total, uh, 1060. Yep. Thank you. And see, like, I'm gonna return my cart right inside the store, or in the cart corral, and I'm not going to leave it in the parking lot. Out there, it would just, like, ditch your cart, not in the cart corral. You know who you are. Tell me if your parents do that, too. Yeah, this should be it, right? Alright, here we go. Shopping handed over to Buck. Alright, that seems to be everything that was asked for. So let's make tracks to the Watt shop. I gotta go to Tamyan. I got this tasty bar for him, so let's give it to him. Yeah, dude, a mega tasty bar. May I have it? Pretty please, dude? Yeah, dude, it's right here. You got you got it. Enjoy. Hand it over the mega tasty bar. Meow, time to tuck in, meow. Um, um, um. See? Just like I said, it's utterly meowlicious. Uh, well, it's hard to tell just by looking. Dude, meow will share a bit with you if you like. Really? Thanks. Mmm, it's so crispy and delicious. I could eat this all day. Meow, I'm glad I can appreciate uh, glad food, because you dudes ain't seen nothing yet. Just meow will wait until next time. Ah, oh, delicious. I guess Tom Yun's not so mean after all. Nice of him to share. Uh, Abdallah, you were the one who bought it for him. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so there's the one Tamyan spot, which is good. Uh, we're gonna need all those Tamyan spots in a little bit. Okay, so we got a Tamyan spot. Okay, here we go. Watch store. Okay, so we did all your shopping for you. Uh, welcome back, my young friends. Was your shopping trip a success? Yeah, is the rain wet? See everything you need. Buck handed over the shopping. Okay. Thanks, boys. You've been a real help. Now, let's see to raising the watch rank on your watch. Thanks, Mr. Keensight. Okay. Thanks, dude. So now he's just going to be working on that. Cool. Good luck. Okay, so now we got a rank D watch, which is good. Hmm. You can call me Bob if you like, but Mr. Keensight is fine too. Well, thanks all the same. With this development, we should be able to discover even more yokai. Alright, so now can we please talk uh, about the UFO, y'all? Hey, uh, isn't it almost dinner time? Ah, uh, sure is. Uh, what's more, it'll be getting dark soon. Sorry, boys, but you best be getting home. We'll discuss the UFO some other time. What? No way! Mr. Keensight, I done brought these guys here to hear about the UFO. No, young Master Buck, no hissy fits. We'll simply talk another time. All right, then, since I got no choice. See y'all tomorrow with bells on. Don't you go forgetting now. Okay. Go back to your house. Just teleport me there, man. Why do I gotta walk all the way back? Okay, so we got a D-rank uh, yokai watch now, so that means that we are going to be able to find D-rank yokai floating around in the city. So I'm going to find some new ones, who knows? If I see like a D-rank kind of flashing on the screen, I will absolutely stop to see what it is, like this right here. There's a D-rank in a tree, and it's a yokai spot too. Someone? Anything? Okay, so there's a yokai here. You feel a yokai's aura nearby. Oh my, who in the world is this little girl? It's the little blonde doll girl, right? I'm shooting through. I'm shooting through the fire hydrant somehow. It's not the doll girl. It's like the, I don't know. I don't even know what this yokai is. Cutie. Okay. Cutie attacked. Beauty. All right. What do you like? Let's do preparations. You like pasta. I don't have any pasta. I got pizza though. What is this? Salad? Chicken sukiyaki? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. We're gonna fight you. All right, QT, a D-rank yokai. If you're a healer, you're more than welcome to come on board.
She is a healer. I could totally use her. Okay, so I can't do anything when she's in spirited, like poker for hearts or anything like that. She's very bulky. Oh my! Dang! I was gonna get the, uh, that's actually pretty good! I wish I could have her. She's got like an all, uh, stats in spirit with her ultimate, which is okay. I mean, it's not the best. It's not like a healing ultimate, but that was kind of cool. Alright, so there's something over here in this back little alley. I'm gonna see what it is. Oh, a baffle! Uh, well, a gate of whimsy? Whoa, hey! Yo, it's a gate of whimsy! Diana Gately, where are you? Diana! My favorite NPC, Diana! Alright, let's go. Enter the gate of whimsy, absolutely. One does not simply walk past the gate of whimsy, am I right? I hope it's like a bizarre one. Bizarre ones are my favorite. Oh, it does look like a bizarre one. Weird! Yes! What's going on here? Wow! This is so cool! What is going on here? Hello, little girl. Hey, what's wrong? You look confused. Wait, have you forgotten where the bathroom is? You're in fifth grade now, come on. What? Oh yeah, did you watch TV last night? You mean the story about ghosts showing up? That was kind of scary. I didn't see it. I fell asleep right after I got back from cram school. Uh, okay, I think I recorded it. I'll watch it after school. You. Aw, oh, break's over in a second. My next class is English. My worst subject. What's your next class? What the heck is going on here? Uh, what a cute uniform. But isn't it always, uh, but isn't always having to wear such nice clothes kind of a lot of pressure to do? Uh, kind of a lot of pressure too? Dylan! Yo. How were the cakes I made the other day? Wasn't sure if you'd like them, because you're probably used to fancier food, but if you did like them, I'll make more for you. That's nice, Dylan. Thank you. What are we doing here? No way. You're gonna go in the boys' bathroom? Of course not. So am I a girl? Oh gosh, Foyletta. Toiletta! Spin around a circle and get jump scared! I'm afraid! This happened to me a long time ago! Okay, so like I think I'm a girl. Uh, we had that assignment on ambition yesterday, right? Oh yeah, I don't really uh, know what I want to do in the future. Man, it really makes me feel like I don't understand myself. What the heck? Oh, it breaks over in a sec. My next class is English, my worst subject. What's your next class? Didn't you just tell me that? It's Bear! Where did Abdallah go? Class is gonna start soon. Eddie! Ran away while muttering something. Kind of strange, huh? Yo, it's the kid with the hat! Yeah, the girl, Alex. Uh, did you want to speak to someone from our class? Oh yeah, there's this really funny girl in your class, right? Uh, what was her name? Thomas? I'd like to hang out with her sometime. She seems fun. Are you talking about Inaho? Or, uh, Haley Ann? <laughs> hey, aren't you a rich kid? You got everything you want. I'm jealous. But if you weren't a rich kid, I wonder if anyone would treat you differently. What's going on here? Yo, it's Matt, huh? What's wrong? Break time's over, you know. Shouldn't you head back to class? Ah, that's right, the mirror of truth. I, I am. I don't know who I was. I'm not Haley. That's for sure. I could be Katie. No, Katie would say something about that. I don't know. Oh, it's the rich girl, Isabel. She said that you're the rich kid. And Isabel was the rich celebrity girl, right? Oh, dude, look at that deduction skills. 
So you had to talk to everyone and deduce exactly all of that. Oh my gosh, like my heart. You guys should have seen the look at my face. I was so afraid. Like that was kind of like some sort of Five Nights at Freddy's kind of stuff, like jump scary. Oh my gosh. Well, that was interesting. We climbed out of like a elementary school. Come on, man. That's so far away from home. It's going to get dark soon. Was that scary or what? Oh my gosh. Yo, that bizarre room. Isabel was the rich girl. I don't know too much about Jessica. I know a little bit about Katie, but... Oh! Oh! Yeah! Buster's tea time! Oh my, this is... There's an extremely odd aura coming from the garden. An odd aura? Oh, I can really feel it uh, coming from the backyard, Nyan. Abdal, let's head to the backyard and search within the yokai watch. Or with the yokai watch. Oh, dude, forget this. Mole, 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 mole! Oh, come on, man. Buster's tea! Buster's tea. Man, let's go. Blasters. Tre treasure blasters. I don't know what they're gonna call it. The mysterious entrance. Okay, so we got it. Right behind our house. Huh? What on earth? Huh, this doesn't seem to be a yokai spot or a gate of whimsy. So, what should we do? Uh, meow about trying to go in. One does not simply leave it there. Mac, where did you come from? Whoa, amazing. I must say I'm surprised to think that this is under your home, Abdallah. Yeah, an underground room. Now we're talking. Buck, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd come to see if you were up to something fun. That's Buck for you. Uh, so let's get investigating. I don't know if we should do that right now. Uh, we'll, we'll do that later. How about that? Next episode will be about Buster's Tea. I promise you. I promise you guys. I'm more excited about that than playing this entire game. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go home though. We gotta go home. I promise we'll get to that. Next episode. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to talk to someone? Oh yeah, I gotta talk to my mama! Hiya. I'm home. Welcome back, I got dinner already. Awesome. Mmm, mmm, yum. Oh, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna eat some straight up pepperoni pizza and rice. And corn? Excellent. So good! So delicious! Come on, hunger ramps! I can't get the timing on that. Oh! -ho! <laughs> Wait, I did get that last bite, didn't I? I don't know. Dang it, it said 20, didn't it? All right, whatever. Ooh, that's good for Jibanyan, we'll take that. And we gotta use karate. Ooh, use karate is good for Jibanyan too. It'll make him like, uh, grouchy, I believe? I don't remember. It's an attitude adjustment book, so we'll take it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about zombies, guys. Hmm, what's that sound? Hey, Whisper. Hey, where is he? Whisper, where are you? Jibanyan? Where are those guys? Did they go off somewhere? What is that sound? It seems like it's coming from outside. Hmm, guess I'll go take a look. Oh, look at him tippy-toeing. Wow, see what's going on outside. So I quickly changed out of my pajamas, and now we're going to go see what's going on. Oh, dude. 
Okay, kid. It's dangerous out here. Let's go on and head inside. I'm afraid of zombies in real life. <laughs> that was a close one. Who are you? My name is Stein. Francesca Stein. Francesca Stein? Francesca. Dr. Francesca Stein. Dr. Francesca Stein. That's right. I'm a doctor researching the phenomenon known as Zombie Night. Zombie Night? Is that what this is? It's brought on by a disturbance in the oral uh, balance late at night, causing zombies to overrun the town, ergo Zombie Night. Once you stray into Zombie Night, you'll never make it home again. What? That's a pretty big problem. Understatement. But there's always a way you can go back. This town has special morning bells. If you can get one to ring, the dawn will come. And with it, your world will return to normal. So where is this morning bell? Morning bells appear in various locations over town. Okay, I'll go find that bell and make it ring then. It's dangerous to go out unarmed. Here, I'll loan you this. The zombie wumper! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Yeah. Even a kid like you should be able to take down zombies with this. Hmm. It's also worth lending you this. A protective vest? Oh my gosh, that's... Pretty intense. You wear it, you'll be able to endure zombie attacks a little. And, oh, and you'll be needing this. Okay, I'm really scared now. Like, zombies are an irrational fear of mine, too. Put, ma <laughs> put materials you pick up into this backpack. Thanks. Then, if you'll excuse me, my zombie night research awaits. Oh, right, one last thing. Okay, so we got a transceiver, too. I'm like breathing hard right now. Uh, with this, I can contact you during zombie note. I'll give you support so you can make the safe escape. Thanks for your help. The nearest bell seems to be at Margarita's, so it's best you aim for that. Understood. Good luck, you'll need it. <laughs> He's just like going out there willingly. All right, let's go zombie night. Okay, so new locations available. This one's Margarita's uh, area in Southmon. Reward is gonna be a blue coin. Danger level E. Sentinel zombie is just a regular zombies. Yeah, let's go. You know, I didn't delve too much into Zombie Night in my Japanese Yokai Watch 3 playthrough. I didn't fully understand it. So now we're here. So now, uh, are you outside? Yeah, I am. Thanks, Burly, in the top corner, like blasters. Uh, there are zombies wandering nearby. I uh, sneak up on them from behind. Oh gosh. Then what? When you're close, unleash your fury. Okay, zombies will chase you if they see you, so try to be stealthy. Uh, where stealth fails, hit the A button and attack zombies with your Whomper. Don't attack zombies head on though, or you won't stand a chance. So try to creep up on them and sneak attack from behind. Successfully sneak up and you'll deliver a real Whomping. If spotted, you can't sneak attack and zombie will call allies. Always keep an eye on your HP. Better to flee if you get caught. Okay, so don't uh, attack and get seen. Alright, if you uh, head over to Margarita's. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Wow, frame rates. Alright, well, um, oh, okay. Well, I need to zoom in. Yeah, this is the okay. You guys aren't witnessing like frame rate issues on on my end. It's actually the game. It's actually the game that is uh, having a little bit of frame drops. Okay, okay, whoa my gosh. Fine. Okay, you made it inside Margaritas. The bell seems to be further down. Hold down the A button to ring the bell. Ring it before the zombies see you. Dunk on ya! Here. Look, there, some food was dropped. Uh, these items will help during invasions. 
Okay, uh, battle items, walk over them, pick them up. Okay, so you've got some... Uh, okay, so this is like bu uh, Busters too. Good job. Finally reached the bell. Great work, I knew you had it in you. If you were to help, then maybe. If we meet again, I have a favor to ask. Now, ring the bell. That's scary. That's scary. I mean, we didn't have any issues. I mean, it was just like, all right, pay attention to where their little view is, go behind them, and then go from there. So, Zombie Night, episode one, done. Took back margaritas from the zombies. Wow. You can now enter margaritas whenever you like. As in, like... Like an actual store in, like, the overworld, and now it's open because I saved it from a zombie apocalypse? It's an interesting way of unlocking landmarks, if that's the case. <laughs> Dr. Stein, I did it. I rang the bell. Huh? Whisper, Jibanyan, where are, where, were all those zombies from last night just a dream? I don't know. They... Interesting. <laughs> Zombie night? Seriously? Yeah, <laughs> good one, Abdallah. I'll give you an A for creativity. I didn't make it up, I swear. I really saw zombies. You saw zombies last night, and it was called Zombie Night? If you're gonna make stuff up, at least choose a better name. Ugh. Even fancy that doesn't have anything on such outlandish concepts. Ugh. Oh, what juicy... What's this juicy new update? Okay, switch to Haley to activate Story Link. Okay, Story Link activated. Aha, it appears that the latest issue of Fancy That is out. Ah, oh, whoop de doo Oh, I shall whoop your do. This solid stuff, I'll have you know. Solid as a rock that is your head. Why do you buy that junk? Yes. It's not junk. It provides very insightful facts and observations. Let's see. Aha, special feature. St. Peanutsburg zombies? What? Zombies, what else does it say? Yes. Late at night in St. Peanutsburg, an ominous bell starts to ring. This calls forth the mysterious life forms that defy death, the zombies. No way. That's exactly what Abdallah said happened. I told you, you see, there really were zombies. No, 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 no. Balderdash. Obviously, this is a gag article. Weren't you the one who said it had insightful facts and observations? Uh, did I? Oh, look, there's more. Our fancy that news crew per, uh, pursued the zombies, prepared for danger, and made a shocking discovery. Shocking discovery? What was it? It turns out the zombies gather at the supermarket to go shopping? What? Shopping zombies? What? Well, that is a shocking discovery. Is that supermarket they mentioned, the Phantomart? That's gotta be a clue. Phantomart must have zombies. So does that mean we're taking a trip to the supermarket? Hmm, let me think. Buck probably needs to know. He is into all this sort of stuff. But where do I find him? I don't know where he lives. Why not try the watch shop? Hey, that's what I thought. Okay, let's head there. A super zombie secret started. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess. That's a mystery. Whew. Yeah, there's some long episodes, aren't they? So we're right at the one hour mark. I don't know if I should keep on going or... Uh... Stop and make it a two-parter. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna stop right here. I think that's a great a great stopping point. Let's let's save it. I'll call it an hour-long episode, and uh, on the next episode we might see what's going on in the Phantom Mart, uh, and we might uh, do something else. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we had a great time on today's episode. I hope you guys did too. Make sure you guys uh, answer the. Uh, comment question of the day, what's the rarest yokai you've ever cranked? I'm still on the adrenaline rush from the zombies, so I'm going to let that calm down, and then we'll work on getting the next episode uh, uploaded for you guys. So, thanks for being here. You guys are an amazing crowd. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving on this series, and uh, stay tuned for even more. It's going to be a great time. So, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys can continue watching a playlist right over here. Watch every single one of these episodes. Have a good time with it. Uh, you guys can also see the newest video on the channel there. Uh, and then, of course, our recommendations. We've got some tips and tricks tutorial videos that you guys can use to actually scan in some QR codes. It's going to be a good time for you. So go check that out. Do all that fun stuff. Follow me on social, right? Twitter, Discord, become a sponsor. Make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications to be alerted of the latest and greatest Yokai Watch 3 content on YouTube right here. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.